Hola, me llamo Alex, and you're watching Animated Outcast. For those of you who didn't watch my last video that I put up, uh, where I mentioned briefly that I've been teaching myself Spanish, I've been teaching myself Spanish with the use of Duolingo, not sponsored. I've, I've gotten a little bit of Spanish in me now, still not a whole lot. I can sort of kind of understand every other word occasionally. Uh, that a Spanish-speaking individual is saying, because I work with a few people who speak Spanish, and they seem like really nice people, and I'd like to actually be able to speak with them and understand them uh, better than I currently do. So, I've been teaching myself Spanish, and on that topic, I have had, I think there was three or four different people I work with who asked me if I was Spanish, and to my knowledge, I am not. Which brings us to the topic of today's video, Ancestry. Back in March, Ancestry had a deal going on. I think there's another deal going on now that it's on sale. So I bought two kits, one for myself, one for my fiance. Not sponsored by Duolingo or by Ancestry, just so you know. And after, what what is today now? Today is currently the 5th of May that I'm recording this. So back in March is when I ordered the kit, although we didn't actually send them out until like maybe mid-April. We weren't sure if we could with the whole pandemic going on. So we were waiting and I kept checking Ancestry's website and their Twitter to make sure that there weren't any sort of, you know, restrictions on sending your saliva through the mail during a pandemic. So we sent them out about mid-April and I just got an email today saying that my results are in. So I just gotta log in and view my results. I hope my login information is saved. It is not. Now I'm going to have to figure out what my information is because I don't remember. All right, so I figured it out. I didn't really figure it out. I had to reset my password because I couldn't remember where it was. So here we are on Ancestry.com, not sponsored. And we have, oh, ooh, cool, 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 cool. Hi, Alex Firestein, or as Alexa calls me, Firestinny. New communities have been added to your. I don't. I don't know if I care about my communities. What is this? Pennsylvania settlers, Puerto Rico, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indian settlers. Wait, what? You're now part of the Pennsylvania settlers community. Explore stories from all your communities on your DNA page, story page. Use the timeline to explore what was happening at various times around your community. 1800, 1850, Wheels of Progress, Pennsylvania Settlers. Settlers. Oh. So does this mean my ancestors were in Pennsylvania in 1800s? And also in Puerto Rico? Uh -huh. And then Central is a cry freedom. Okay, is this actually thought, is, 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 is it telling me that I am also from Ohio? View DNA story. Oh, so this apparently is where I hail from. Okay, ethnicity estimate. 34% England, Wales, Northwestern European. That sounds familiar. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, my cousin actually got an ancestry kit from 23andMe a while back, and we were hanging out at my Nana Pap's house, having a good family time, uh, talking about it, and I remember him saying about, I think he said Northwestern European. So this is looking like this is for my mom's side of the family. My mom and his mom are twins, by the way. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the same uh, DNA. I am 34%, well, it can range from 12 to 37%, so I'm about 34% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. That's cool. So wait, that's not Ireland. That doesn't include Ireland. Why doesn't that include Ireland? I was told that I am Irish. Scottish at least, possibly. All right, read full history. Well, no, prehistoric Britain, that's going back a little too far. So we are from here, apparently. That's cool. Germanic Europe, and I know I'm German on my mother's side as well. This, this again, it seems to be coming from my mom's side of the family. Although my cousin said that from his DNA kit, they could tell which chromosome came from where, like X chromosome, Y chromosome, meaning that the Y chromosome that he got from his father would tell him exactly what his father's side of his family is, which apparently he's like 
2% African American, I guess. So, 25% Germanic Europe. So, I'm German. I, I, I knew that. Germanic Portugal. Okay, so I'm Portuguese? Huh. Ethnicity estimate is 12%, but can range from 0 to 29%. So what you're saying is that I'm probably 12% Portuguese, but I might <clears throat> very well be 0% Portuguese. I love these estimates. Spain, 9%. Okay, so I apparently am Spanish from proper Spain and or Portugal. Ethnicity, 9%. Huh. France, okay, so I'm also French, apparently. Uh, I've been, I actually was practicing French for a while. I took a semester of French when I was in high school, and indigenous Puerto Rico. So, by the looks of things, I am a bit Spanish. From like, a bunch of different Spanish places. Between 1 and 5%, Puerto Rican. Ah, go figure. Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples. What? I'm African? Yo. Extending to the heart of Africa, our Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu people regions, re peoples region, winds through tropical rainforest, humid savanna, and semi-arid deserts. Starting about 3,000 years ago, Bantu-speaking peoples spread from an area around the border of modern-day Cameroon and Nigeria through much of sub-Saharan Africa in one of the greatest migrations in human history. Today, the region is home to unrivaled ethnic and linguistic diversity. <gasps> Yo, that is cool and unexpected. I am Bantu. What else am I? Indigenous Cuba. So I'm Cuban. <laughs> like the cigar. I've never had a Cuban cigar. I kind of, kind of, kind of want to try that out. That'd be cool, right? And wait, Seneg Senegal, Africa, Africa's westernmost nation. The namesake of our Senegal region lies about 1,000 miles above the equator and boasts miles of beaches along the Atlantic. It's bordered by Mauritania, Mali, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau, I think. And almost completely encircles the Gambia. What is the Gambia? Is that a desert? The country's current population is just about evenly divided between urban and rural, del rural dwellers. <coughs> Excuse me. Senegal is widely known for music, including Rhythm and Wolof, what? Senegal, Dazzling Sabar Drumming, huh. I apologize for sniffing, my allergies have been pretty nutty ever since the weather started. So, okay, so Norway, that's cool, 1%, between 0 and 4%, Norwegian. And I believe that is where the Vikings came from, isn't it? Because I have been told that we also may be part Viking. But who knows how true that is. The earliest inhabitants of our Norway region were strong seafaring peoples. For centuries, hunter-gatherers slowly pushed north across the Baltic Sea, probing coastal fjords and inland stretches for arable land as ice melted off the untamed regions. While Norwegians, Swedes, and Danes all share a common Norse heritage, over time Norway's resilient coastal communities evolved into a nation known for its seamanship, technology, artistry, and mythology. I am Norse. <gasps> like 1% Norse. But still, I'm Norse. That's cool. Mali, more African heritage. Wow. That's cool. Uh, okay. Oh. So, Mali's modern boundaries were drawn in 1890 when French Sudan was created. So, am I... So, I guess French African. Because some of my heritage is also from France. Man-made borders make Mali region a mix of diverse peoples. Oops. But geography has always played a key role in Mali's history and people. The savannas at the edge of the desert made the area a natural center for trans-Saharan trade, which connected Western Africa with Europe and Asia in pre-colonial times. For centuries, Mali was a fabled land of gold, scholarship, and 
empires. Delightful. I'm gonna move this ever so slightly because I just realized how far forward I've been leaning this whole time. It's probably not good for my back. So, just in Mali, European Jewish. Oh, I'm Jewish. Our European Jewish region is not geographically defined in the same way as most other ethnic regions. The historic dispersal of the Jewish population from its origin in the Levant, in the Levant, Levant, on the east coast of the Mediterranean, resulted in insular communities scattered throughout Europe, North Africa, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Although some Jewish communities enjoyed positions of relative peace and prosperity, many more were segregated from mainstream society by law, custom, and prejudice. Experiencing sustained persecution and discrimination, Jewish populations from Northern and Eastern Europe are often known as Ashken Ashkenazi. Sephardic refers to Jews who were expelled from Spain during the Inquisition and mostly settled in North Africa and Southwestern Europe. So, I'm from Spain, but I'm also apparently European Jewish, so there's a lot of confliction here. Uh, cause if, if I'm Jewish and German, my ancestors could have been murdering one another. If I am Jewish and from Spain, my ancestors could have been kicking my own ancestors out of the country. If I'm to be understanding this correctly. Indigenous Haiti and Dominican Republic. Cool. Bisected by five mountain ranges, our indigenous Haiti and the Dominican Republic region covers the second largest island of the West Indies and enjoys both the benefits and pitfalls of a continuous tropical climate. Indigenous peoples from Central and South America settled in this region early on and eventually coalesced into the Taino. Taino? They then divided the island into five kingdoms ruled by people. Prior to the arrival of the Spanish in the late 1400s, the thriving Taino civilization made significant advances in natural medicine, agriculture, and religious art. Ooh, interesting. And then we have Nigeria. Nigeria region takes its name from the most populous country in Africa, where more than 168 million people live in an area about twice the size of California. Wow, that's a lot of people in a relatively small place. In fact, Nigeria has six cities with populations over one million, and the United States has nine. From its tropical south to the arid north, Nigeria as a country is a concept and a product of colonialism, bringing together more than 250 ethnic groups within fairly arbitrary borders. Awesome, so I am primarily English, like European English seem but I am a mutt look at all of these different things that I am so I guess to sum things up I am English German Spanish African uh, Norse Jewish I'm just about everything so that's about it for this video if you enjoyed this hit the like button feel free to leave me a comment down below if you're not subscribed to my channel you can do that um, look forward to another video soon-ish. Uh, I've been really busy lately. Work's been pretty intense. But I am going to go back to playing the Flower Collector soon. So again, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. My name is Alex. I am all kinds of different things. And thank you for stopping by. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata.